Why Little Hare has such a short tail? Old Hendrick was standing by the corner of the house, milking pail in hand, watching the slow procession of the cows homeward from the veldt. The calves in the crawl clamored insistently to hasten their mammies home. Those mammies answered now and then, with a patient bellow of assurance, as they continued their placid pace and old Hendrick seemed to be as vacant of thought or stir as they. But when little Annie came strolling out to enjoy the never-staling delight of seeing the headlong rush of each calf and turn to its mammy, the old hatentit looked down at her and begun without further warning. Away King Lion had five cows, and Tree Odem was wild and wandry. Oh, cried Annie, I never heard of that. And what did he do with them? Uta, why, Milcom, oh course, returned old Hendrick. What else? And some o de milk his ole missis and a clanky's drink and some he drink hisseth. The rest he make de butter wid to grease all dare ole noses. Oh, how funny, cried Annie in huge delight. And did he mind them himself? Course not, retorted Hendrick, a little scornfully. Ain't he a king? Kings don't mind cows. Not him. He just make all de animals try dare turn at it. But these tree wandry ones day it keep gettin' away, and den de animal dat come home wid dem tree miss sin well, he'd be a missin' too, and ole king lion, he'd be dat much fatter. Well, it come little hossie's turn at last klein hossie, dat you call little hare, dat skellum little hare but e just prance out behind dem cows in de monin wid, a high ole hop and a skip. He'd show em about mindin' five bally ole cows, he would, says he. He sticks a green twig in his move, and he biffs his ole hat down over his eyes, and he gets dem cows down in a hook, oh de river and squats down on a little kapiaki to watch em, all nice and all right. Mind five ole cows, says he, by de jiminy, guy me somatin easier if dear is any. Well, it did look all serene, oh, wid em dis side of um and a river, bent all round em on to odor sides, and plenty o oh, grass, and water and nice trees about. Show says he, dem cows stray off, days got mo sense says he, it was just sich a easy yob dad in a while, his eye gonna wanderin round, to see what else dear is dear besides de cows and de rest of it. And fust he sees a little bishiaki, wid green leaves like he swears he ain't seen afore, or leastways he ain't zamin much. So o course he hops over to dad and pretends to tassa it, and feel it, and turn it over gently. Den he sees de blasbic wanderin past, wid de teenty little buckies whimperin and nose and otter dare mammies and fust he squat and watch em, and den, he get to feelin cussed, and he fair hop round em, to scare em and make em flurry, till dare mammies turn round and chase him out o oh dat. Next he slant his eye at de spruit and tinks, he'll just sand her down and throw stones at usculpit, de tortoise, and ax him what's his latest time for a mile. With a flyin' start. Den he can hear Usculpit use some rocky ole words, but when he gets down to de spruit Usculpit ain't dear at all, and dat make him hopin mad. He's just dat mad he chuck stones into de water and savages de reeds for a note or five minutes on end. Den he looks up and dear he sees de honey bird a wickerin about. Wado, says Hossie, dear's honey somewheres. Here's on to it like one man. Well, he hops on otter de honey bird, and he hops on and on, tinkin every mile he's gun to get to dat honey soon. And den here comes a man ridin along, and he sees de honey bird too, and he gins to folio as well. Hossie looks at him once, and he sizes his face up. Dat lets me out, says he to hisseth. Dat face ain't a gun to stand me gettin any o oh dat honey. I'd about better turn back. So he turns back, but de days got dat hot and de shade under de little bishayakis. Is dat cool? He tinks he'll rest him a little while and den go on a gen. Wid daddy finds a nice bush and squats him down. 
and you know what's bound to happen den he pop off to sleep along in the afternoon when the day gets a bit cooler he wake up and open his eyes hello says he where's dem cows by dis time den he rub his eyes and he grin one ting anyhow says he if ole king lion don't eat again till he eat me for dis den he's mighty liable to die o starvation but when he gets back to de hook o de river dears de two quiet ole cows all right but de tree wandry ones well days wandered he look round and round and he hop dis way and dat but he don't find hide nor hair o dem tree till at last it's about time to be startin for de crawl wid dees two he takes one more long o lay look round but it ain't no use it don't find dem cows and so he starts dees two for home he ain't a going far wid em do he just folios on till de two can see de crawl, and den he pops back to de place where de odors was lost. Now, dear was a long ole, rocky ole, bushy ole island in de river dear, wid rocks stickin' up all de way across de water to it. So little hossie can cross wid some tall hoppin, and he crossed, you bet he crossed mighty smart and he find him a snug little place all in a patch o big boulders and bushes and trees. Here's me says he, till I sees what's a going to happen. Well, he ain't dear very long for here comes Ole King Lion. Yustiger are rowlin' and a pur rowlin' and a singin out. Where's dat klein hossy dat went out so high and smarty dis mawnin? Lem just find him, dat's all. You bet little hossy lie low den, and wish dear was big wings to him as well as long legs and short uns. But Ole King Lion couldn't find him. He ramp and he stamp, and he squat down like he's going to be sick, and brings up a whackin' Ole roar dat fair shakes to island. But it don't start little hossy, cause little hossies too tremblin to shift a foot, and bin by King Lion, he go off to roar up some odor spot. Dat's a bit more like what I like says hossy den. So at last it come dark, and de lion was far enough off, and little hossy hop out to stretch his legs and tink a bit. But I wonder how I'll do now when I goes back home tomorrow says he. Well, tomorrow come, and hossy he tink dis way and dat way. But he make so little out of it, dad he stop a noter night on de island, and he gin to feel mighty longin' for home, I tell you. And next day it on he got worse, till it got dat bad about sundown. He just couldn't stand it no longer. Here's off home, says he, and chance to chips. I'll bet I'll manage somehow. In a while he gets home to King Lion's place, and it's as dark as Billy O, and he squats down by de endo de barn, to see what's happenin'. Bin by out comes his ole Miss Sis F apostrophe M de kitchen, where she's a washin' up otter supper. S H she says he as low as he could for her to hear him she tink she know dat sound and she come up to him to see who it was and she just open her move to let out one big squeal but he nabs her by dear in time if you don't stop dat row ole miss sis says he i'll bite your long fool ears off says he but we all tink you was dead says she hmp says he and i suppose you's already got a noter ole man in your eye says he i hain't says she one's enough if he's been like you but when ole king lion found a tree cows yesterday and you wasn't wid him he made sure you was dead and was he sorry axes hossy yes he said it was such a waste o meat him not getting you to eat says she him, he blowed, says Hossie, you go and bring me out some and nice to eat, and den I'll see about him. He may be big and ugly, but he ain't so smart as some folk I knows. Well, his miss says she bring him out a mealy pap pot with lots in it yet, and some milk, and he tucks a fair ole little lot inside him. That's all right, says he when he finis. Now, 
You just fetch me to rake, and den skip back and leave the kitchen door open. She fetches de rake and hands it to him. But what's you going to do with dat? Says she. Get out o dis and shut up, or I'll do it to you instead. Says he, making a comb at her wid de rake, till she fair flew back to de kitchen. Well, he looks at de lights in de winda, and he tinks o de good ole a times he's had dear. And den he fair lands into hisif wid dat rake. He tears all his claws and he tears all his hair, and he gashes big streaks in his face, and his hands and his ribses, till he looks like he's just fell into a big ole mimosa and been drag out by de heels. Den he stagger into de kitchen and drop on de floor all of a heap. Where's oo Dr. Jackals? Says he bring oo Jackals, for I's just about gone up. His wife just guy in one big ole squeal and all de house was upside down. Here day all comes a runnin in a yap pin, and here's King Lion true em all. Hello, you skellum says he, where come ye from now? Little Hossie opens one eye and looks at him. From where dem tree cows horn me nearly to death cause I stopped em wanderin says he. I just got here tonight to see my ole Miss Sissa Jen for I pegs out. All a crackty now, says King Lion, ain't dat funny. But where's dare you jackals? Let's have dis hossy doctored in less than two shakes of a lamb's tail. So day puts little hossy to bed, and oo jackals turn everybody out o de room while he can examine him. He look him over, and he turn him over, and he feel him over, and den well den, oo jackals he wink at ole hossy, slow and solemn, and ole hossy, he wink at oo jackals half a grinnin. I tink you backs pretty bad says oo jackals. I specs you'll ha to stop in bed dees next days or two, and nice bits o scoff to tempt your appetite. Yes, says Hossie. A bit o sugar cane or a water millin now a do me pretty fine. So little Hossie has to stop in bed for a week, and all the time his wife's a grumblin at him cause she has to wait on him, and tellin him she'll tell King Lion. And Hossie tells her she'd just better do it. That's all. But all dis time he's supposed to a catch such a fair ole lay cold dat e can't hairly whisper, and his back's dat bat, e can't hairly bend it. Well, come to end o de weakened king lion gun to smell a rat. Today you can go and work in de taco land, says he. Little hossy don't like dat, but he has to go and get hold. He lifts dat hoe, and he look at dat row. And he squint out on the grass alongside and see a nice round ard bark hole. But he don't look to odor way, else he'd a seen King Lion hide and hiss if to watch him. Taako Hoan's worsen watchin' cows, says Hossi, as he bent his back and put his hoe to work. Now the day was just a sort o' day for making you feel good. And Hossi hadn't hoed ten yards for he forgot all about Everightin'. But wishin he was out on de velt. And all the time King Lion in his hiding place was watchin and watchin till at last he stick his head up and shout out Hossie. Klein Hossie, here I is, says Hossie, clear out and yumpin up, forgettin dat cold and dat sore back. He's supposed to be sick wid. King Lion he says just one word ho, says he, and he make a forty mile spring to catch Ole Hossie. And Hossie he says on you one word too o, oh, says he, and he make a fifty mile dive for dairy ard bark hole. And he drops down it out o oh sight just as Ole King Lion claws de tail off him, all but de stump. By Jiminy, dat skellum says King Lion outside. A la crafty, dat close shave, says Hossie inside. Well, King Lion he waited and he waited, but it want no use at all, for Klein Hossie he didn't wait two shakes, but he sets to work and digs out at a noter place, a long way off into Mailey's, and pops off over de skyline dat way. But he's mighty careful to keep out of Ole King Lion's way since den, for he got such a scare dat time dat he hain't. Never managed to grow a long tail again. 
like he used to have afore. And if you wants to know just what a hairy ole scare he got, continued old Hendrick, you notice him next time you sees him. You'll see a white patch on his tail dat's gone white wid de fright he got when de great big claws was a grabbin de rest o de tail off. But here's de cows, and I's got to get to de milk and broke off the old storyteller swinging his pail, and starting for the crawl.